G'day watchers, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a piece from a new company. This is the New Zealand startup, uh, Beaufort Watches. So uh, they uh, are going to kickstart very soon and I'm going to time this with the Kickstarter. Uh, but they are a start with the goal of providing vintage inspired military pieces. Uh, and the, the name of the brand Beaufort is named for the Beaufort Bristol or the Bristol Beaufort aircraft which served in the 1940s, so World War II theatres and subsequently. And I'll try to put up some pictures here uh, of the aircraft and the inspiration for the brand here. Uh, so let's just open uh, this watch to show you. So the name of the watch is there on the box. Uh, so this is a prototype, so Beaufort there. Presumably this is going to be the packaging that it comes in, kind of this semi-solid box here. Uh, but you know, there's no uh, manuals that have been provided with this particular prototype uh, release. So let's just show you the watch here. So this is uh, named the Aero Timer. So this is going to be the Beaufort Aero Timer, the inaugural piece that's going to kickstart very soon. The MSRP is going to be listed at 499 USD, but uh, there is up to 35% discount on early bird uh, sign up, you know, if you sign up for updates and to potentially purchase a watch. So 35% off is roughly uh, 325 USD. So keep that in mind as the potential price that you might pay if you commit to buying this watch. All right, so let's just uh, show you the movement there. So, you know, I've just got to undo this uh, uh, piece here to just zoom that in. So guys, in here is none other than a Salita SW200 movement. That's what they have gone for. Uh, so uh, stats down the left side of the screen there, you've seen this movement before on various watches that are featured uh, on the channel. Uh, in this case, uh, it does implement a quick set date that you can see there at the six o'clock position. Okay, so uh, unframed window, uh, black writing on white disc at the six o'clock. Uh, position there. Uh, rated accuracy, uh, as you can see on the left of screen, in use, this particular movement uh, is regulated at plus eight seconds per day. Of course, this is a prototype, but that, you know, I think that might bode well for the eventual attention that they pay to their pieces. Hopefully, they will regulate their pieces to excellent performance, and plus eight is not bad at all. Okay guys, so let's just move on to the case description here. Okay, so the case is 40 millimeter diameter, so exactly 40 millimeters. Thickness is 11 millimeters to the top of the crystal there. So 11 is, you know, pretty pleasant. Uh, the lug width is 22 millimeters wide and a lug to lug distance between my thumbs there of 48.5 millimeters on this piece here. Uh, overall weight, uh, it's on a leather strap, so it is only 90 grams. Uh, there is some substance in it, but you know, it's not heavy by any means. You know, it's not gonna be uncomfortable if, if weight is an uncom uncomfortable thing uh, for you when it comes to watches. Okay, moving on to finishing. Okay, so finishing wise, you can see the bezel, uh, right? That angled bezel with a couple of layers there is polished. Uh, now that transitions onto longitudinal brushing on the top surface of the lug that you can see there, as well as longitudinal brushing on the sides. But there is a polished bevel, kind of this 45 degree bevel there on the lug face that you can see there. Okay, and uh, on the bottom, uh, the bottom sides of the lugs are circular brushed. Hopefully that translates onto camera. Today is not a very uh, uh, brightly sunny day. It's actually quite cloudy outside, but hopefully there, there's enough lighting here for you to appreciate the finishing. Uh, the case back itself has polished surfaces there, and then it's got that etching where you know you've got automatic and you know well, stainless steel and what other descriptions for this particular watch here. Uh, so the case back here is uh, screw secured, so six screws right around the periphery here. So it's not a screw down case back, it's secured by six screws. Uh, it does have a display case back. You can see there a basic de decoration on the rotor. But the, the remarkable thing is that they've actually gone for sapphire crystal on the display back. So this is actually the first uh, case back with sapphire crystal. You know, all the other display case backs I've shown uh, are mineral glass. Uh, you know, I think some of the more expensive Swiss bands do use sapphire, but this is the first one I've seen in hand with the Sapphire display bag. So let's just call that out uh, for what it is because it's, it's worth some credit there. 
All right, the, the crown is got some basic etching, so they're kind of that B logo for um, Beaufort. So this is actually just a push crown. It winds at the zero position there, so there's no uh, you know, screw down crown. Overall uh, water rating, however, they've actually achieved 100 meters. So that's a nice touch uh, because it doesn't have a screw down case back uh, or crown, but they've you know, put enough quality gaskets in here to you know, withstand 100 meters of water resistant pressure here. All right, let's move on to the dial then. The dial is perhaps uh, you know, one of the more attractive and uh, attention-grabbing piece uh, of this watch here. So this is what they call a salmon-colored dial. So it's a matte finish, and as you can see, of course, it is a California dial, meaning uh, it's got Roman numerals up the top and Arabic numerals down the bottom half there. So the California dial, yes, it doesn't have a horizontal uh, marker at the six o'clock position, but you know, you're going to get some variations on the, what people call uh, California dials. Um, so it does have a printed brand name and it does have printed chapter ring around the outside. And I'll just call some attention to that. That's an interesting tram line around the periphery with uh, the minute indices there. So, you know, 5, 10, 15 and whatnot. Uh, and then if you look at the very periphery, there are uh, small subdivisions and there are five subdivisions per minute. And, and that's actually repeated on that inner ring on the tram line, also five subdivisions per minute. Uh, now, th there's no, I guess, practical use of that. That's actually just to add a detail to the face. And I don't mind that. It does add a certain amount of detail. It makes it you know, a bit more action on the face, but it's not overly busy. That's my feeling uh, of those chapter ring details that they have chosen uh, to implement on this watch. Okay, apart from the printed details, it does have applied indices. So, you know, the, the Roman numerals uh, 1, 2, 10, 11, as well as the 4, 5, 7, and 8 are applied, uh, as well as the compass position, you know, 3, 6, 9, 12. Uh, the loom is actually on the compass positions as well as the three hands, uh, but not elsewhere. And of course, I'll put uh, a loom shot right here for you to appreciate how it looks like in the dark. Uh, just also to describe uh, that the hands are what you might call diamond or lozenge uh, style hands, right? And it's got a simple rectangle on the seconds hand for the loom application. Okay, so that's the description of the dial here. On top of all that is a single dome sapphire. And, you know, you can appreciate that it's really quite single dome because you're, you're getting quite a bit of distortion at not a very high angle. And that's quite a nice little feature. I quite enjoy seeing that actually nice little thing there you can you can see okay so that's the the description of the watch case uh, complete there now let's just move on to the band so th this band uh, is a matte finished uh, what they call full grain italian leather uh, it does have a quick release uh, or i guess a push button uh, deployant clasps with uh, I guess security pit here so you can once you've adjusted it to your wrist size you don't have to keep adjusting it from the holes you can just do this uh, quick release I'll just say that um, on the pictures on the side if you look at this you'll see that this one is paired uh, this particular salmon dial with steel case is actually paired with a, a orange strap so I don't know whether that's actually going to be the final or in fact they will just send you a black one or maybe better yet they'll give you a choice so there's there's some variation to become uh, of this then. All right, so that's really the entire description of the watch. Just going to snap it on quickly for the wrist shot. So, you know, with this uh, quick deployment, it's really quite you know, snappy and convenient. And there we have it. So remember, it's 48.5 millimeters uh, in terms of the lug height there. All right, so that's how it is on my 17 centimeter wrist. Okay, so guys, that's uh, the entire description of the watch. Uh, what have I particularly enjoyed about this watch? Look, I, I think uh, there are quite a few strengths here. I think the package is pretty well done, uh, especially at the intro price of 325 USD. Uh, you know, if you uh, pay the 499 full price, let me know what you think about the value proposition at that price. But I think at 325 is a pretty good package. Uh, you're getting a Swiss movement, a liter movement, a sapphire sandwich, you're going to call this, I'm going to call it sapphire sandwich, right? sapphire at the bottom and the top, sandwiching uh, the entire uh, watch case there. Uh, and a pretty original design. I, I don't know that this has actually completely copied anything. I think this is actually a completely original design. So good on them for coming up with a pretty nice looking 
you know, case and dial. That, that salmon color is something that I really enjoy looking at. And it really is quite a beautiful dial, you know, with uh, they haven't just gone for printing, they've gone for applied details in those markers there. And a pretty well done set of hands there. And overall balance uh, is, is nice, it's something that I enjoy. I'll also point out that the hand lengths are absolutely precise. If you look at the hands right there, they end precisely at the inner chapter ring. And I appreciate that because, you know, it makes it easy. You can kind of point out at the minutes when you're, when you're setting your time. And it's always appreciated that the seconds and minute hand end precisely at, at the markers it's supposed to end at. And I got to say, this leather clasp uh, and strap, uh, you know, I, I've reviewed a lot of watches with leather straps that look like this, you know, kind of just plain leather with two stitches there. This is one of the best I've seen. You know, it's actually supple. When I first looked at it, I thought, oh no, it's one of these again. But in hand, it feels very good and it feels, I think, equal to or better than any uh, straps that look like this that I have reviewed on this channel. So good on them for putting in a good quality strap as well. Right, what weaknesses, what, what kind of complaints or gripes uh, do I have about this watch? Not much, honestly, there is not much I can pick uh, on this watch. The only thing I would mention is that the lug width is 22, the, the case diameter is 40, so 22 is, you know, let me know what you think. It's slightly disproportionate. The, the, the you know, band looks slightly wide for this case, but that's a very subjective thing and it's a very, very minor gripe out of what is otherwise a pretty darn good package, I think. Uh, personally, I prefer uh, proper water resistance with screw down crowns and whatnot, you know, but you know, this is a, a, an aviator style piece, so it doesn't have to do that. I don't mind that, that they haven't gone for that. Uh, and personally, if you know me, uh, I prefer bracelets, uh, but you know, for an aviator watch, I think they mostly all come in rubber or, or leather. So, you know, that's really what they've gone for. Uh, so this is the package that you can get if you go for this watch. So guys, there we go. That's my review of this new uh, Kickstarter new release inaugural watch from Beaufort Watches. Let me know what you think about this piece. You know, nobody's going to own one yet, but you know, if you have an interest in aviator style uh, watches, let me know what you think about what they have achieved here and what they're going to put out. Guys, if you enjoyed my videos, do consider subscribing. New content every week, always aiming to be objective and unbiased about all things horology. Thank you again for sticking with me, and as always, I'll catch you guys next time.